How's it going everyone? This is Daniel. In this video, we are going to be talking about Tesla stock. We're going to go over some important expansion that Tesla is going to be doing in Tesla Giga Factory in Austin. We're also going to be talking about why Kathy Wood started buying Tesla stock last week. And we're also going to go over what to expect for Tesla stock in the short term. So we're going to cover all this important information coming up. So as you can see over here, we have Tesla stock today that is sitting at $907.34. Year to date, Tesla is not looking good. We are down 24%, but we're gonna later on, we're gonna talk about in detail exactly why Kathy was started buying Tesla stock as it dipped below $900. But as you can see over here for today, we had Tesla stock that had a pretty good open. At one point we hit, we went close to $950, but we sold off and right before the market closed, especially 30 minutes before the market closed, we aggressively sold off. So now when you look at Tesla stock, you know, compare it to what other stocks in the stock market did, as you can see, Tesla is down minus 1.73%. And we have big tech companies like Google, Facebook, Microsoft are also down. So we have Google, which is down 2.86%. Facebook also to continue to go down minus 5.14%. We all know that there was pretty massive announcements on their earnings call, of course, you know, Google announcing that massive stock split coming up. However, there's still some other stocks that did pretty well. Of course, you know, we have the energy sector that's doing pretty, pretty well over the last few months. It's one of the best sectors so far. It's crushing it right now. But moving forward, as we get closer into March, we'll see what's going to be happening with over our stock market. We still have the important inflation and interest rates decisions, decisions that are going to be coming up in March. So now let's talk about some important news about Tesla stock. So we're going to be talking about Tesla applying to build a giant plant next to the Giga factory, Texas. So that is going to be pretty phenomenal for Tesla. As you can see based off of the headline, Tesla applies to build giant new cathode factory for battery production next to Giga Factory, Texas. So this is going to be very, very important for Tesla moving forward. You know, one of the important things that we heard during the earnings call for Tesla is that there were some supply chain issues that affected Tesla. Of course, in the future, they're going to be having this supply for their batteries next door. So if they build this factory, this expansion facility next to the Tesla Giga Factory in Austin, that's going to be phenomenal for Tesla, especially the production of the battery 4680 cells. And when Tesla basically opens up the full Giga factory in Austin, they're not going to be having a lot of supply chain issues because they're going to be basically building the batteries over there. So they're not going to have this supply chain issues, but these 4680 cell batteries are game changer for Tesla. They are cheaper to produce. As we talked about in the past, they have high range and also they charge faster too at the same time. So that's going to be phenomenal for Tesla. Of course, when you compare it to other companies like GM and now Ford, you know, they're going to be having a lot of issues, especially with the supply chain issue they're experiencing, especially with their battery technology is not really that advanced yet. But we have Tesla that is making massive moves to basically get these supplies right next door to their factory. So that's going to be really fantastic news for Tesla moving forward. So we're still going to be getting more information about this factory when they're going to be starting to you know to build it and etc and i'm definitely going to keep you up to date on what's going on with this factory but this is a phenomenal news for tesla investors now let's talk about kathy wood and why she started to buy tesla last week so as you can see here we have kathy wood arc buys tesla stock now worth 56 million dollars so when you look at Tesla price action in the last week, of course, you know, we talked about as we head into the earnings call, we were expecting a 10% move to the downside or to the upside, depending upon what, what investors and what hedge funds or what other big you know, institutions are going to be doing with Tesla. As you can see, the majority of the time, even though Tesla stock you know, says something good about their earnings, they beat their earnings, so they have good guidance and etc., the stock basically goes down, unfortunately. That is based off statistics when you, when you go back and look at the previous earnings calls, how the price action behaves. So the same thing happened, right? So Tesla stock dropped, you know, like more than 10% at one point. And we filled, you know, the gap that we were talking about, which is between 840 to around $850. We stabilized at that price point level and we saw this huge drop. So 
at that time was Kathy Wood actually buying the dip. So it was a really great price point level to buy Tesla stock, especially when it dropped below this $900. A lot of people like buying Tesla stock when it goes below $1,000. A lot of people are buying it at this point in time. And now when we see Tesla stock dropping below $900, it's a massive gift for people that want to buy and hold Tesla for the future. You know, we talked about there have been massive price upgrades for different analysts from different banks, institutions coming out, increasing their price targets for 2022. For the future, you know, we have Goldman Sachs picking Tesla as one of their best top picks for 2022. So we are seeing more positive news coming out for Tesla. The future is super bright. We just have to really go through this inflation, interest rates, interest rate drama that we're experiencing right now that is affecting the overall stock market. But it seems like Tesla is definitely stabilized right now at this price point level. As you can see over here, the price action actually seems not that volatile. We are slowly climbing up. We are making higher lows, which is looking pretty good. And we could potentially be going up and testing this $1,000 resistance level. So moving forward, we need to be watching this critical price point levels of around $850 and also this $1,000. The short term, the price level that we're watching, of course, is $900. That's a psychological number to watch out for. And also, this could be a great area of support for investors, for short term traders that want to quickly get in and out and scalp Tesla or swing trade Tesla for a few days. But Keep in mind that, you know, as we get closer and closer to March, we still don't know, you know, what the Federal Reserve is going to be doing, by how much are they going to be increasing interest rates and et cetera. So the drama can potentially continue as we get closer to March. So definitely keep in mind that. But on the long run, you know, if you're, if you're long term investors like us, you know, long view long term investor, this is a great time to buy Tesla at any point, at any point in time. It's going to be phenomenal for Tesla in the future. So let me know in the comments below if you actually bought Tesla stock as it dropped below $800. I mean, it went and dropped below $900. Let me know in the comment section below and also let me know what you think about the expansion of the Tesla Giga factory. They are going to be building this production facility that's going to be helping the production of the battery. So let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell. If you want to stay up to date on what's going on with Tesla Snog, I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you want free stocks too, check out the links in the description box below. But I catch you guys on another video. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.